Hi H4, Coach Danielle here. Today I'm going to go over four standing core moves that you can do from home. I like to do this workout after I went out for a run. Um, if I do it that way, I recommend 10 to 12 reps for each of these moves. You could do it two or three times through. If you are gonna do this as a solo workout, then I would say 45 seconds on, 15 second rest. Repeat that four to five times. All right, let's get started with these four moves. First, like any other core move that might be on the ground or standing, we need to engage the core. Remember to pair that with our breath. So when you exhale, we are pushing our belly button to our spine. That'll help engage the core through these moves. I apologize, a plane is going on overhead. The first one, I have a dumbbell at home. You do grab it, that's perfect. Or you could grab a rock or a brick from outside, um, a bottle of wine or free some water bottles, anything that'll give a little weight. So this first one, we're gonna put the weight overhead. Our other arm comes out forward and we're gonna march here. Really engage that core, pair it with our breath. We are gonna do 10 reps per side. So this is a unilateral hold here. Good, really nice. Perfect. And switch arms for that. Good. Really engage that core, straight arms. Good. Second move, we are gonna get into a lunge. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see it a little bit better. The leg that is forward is the leg that we are gonna turn our torso over. So again, get into our lunge here and turn. Shoulders down, relax. Good. Again, 10 reps here. We are gonna to rotate to the other side. Again, turning over that front leg. Nice. Good. Our next move, we are gonna get into a sumo squat or plie position. Hand down with the weight. The other hand is gonna come up overhead and we're gonna lower. 10 per side here. Good. Switch arms. Nice. Feel the legs burning on that one too. If you don't have weight at home, you can also do this the same way with two arms up. Think about driving your elbow to your knee. Good, another alternative there. Last one, weight back up above head. This one you really gotta stand tall with. Imagine our head is over our shoulders, over our hips, over our feet. The weight is overhead and we are just doing a slight bend Per side. You don't need to go too far. Really good. We really don't want to overextend our back doing this. It needs to be strong posture. Engage that core. There it is. There are the moves that you can do from home. I hope you enjoyed this workout.